All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody. Nepo Edits X the Black Pope is back with some more willy nitty motherfucking news for this motherfucking week and last week. So I decided to include the news from last week or last last week because, um, last week news and you know wasn't all that crazy but i mean we got we we got a little something something we got a little something something to, to talk about and to show y'all so uh before we begin before we begin how was y'all day hope y'all doing uh, really good having a blessed day or oh, good ass week uh hopefully last week was good if it wasn't well hopefully this week will be so much better and i will pray for y'all all right all right all right so first things first is we got here is e3 ha <laughs> e motherfucking three all right so let's be real here let's be real here. yo e3 last year was ah it was not as it was not good it was it was really not good nothing exciting came out you know some games that we already know is already releasing and you know playstation wasn't there xbox wasn't there nintendo showed up but I think Nintendo was like the best ones to show the games, period. <laughs> I think everyone else just really sucked ass. But Nintendo did a good job. They really carried the show. Uh, I think again, actually, for the second time. But but yeah, so um, IGN has heard from multiple knowledge sources, knowledgeable sources, that Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo will be, won't be part of E3 2023 or have presence of a presence on the Los Angeles Convention Center show floor. So, this is like what this the second time, third time they have been showing up. I think I think PlayStation was the third time. Xbox was what the second time. I think I'm not even I'm not even fucking sure. But yeah, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo. Really, this is this is nothing really big because you know PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo have their own thing. You know, Xbox the Xbox got their own um direct. PlayStation with the state of play, um, and Nintendo with the Nintendo Direct. I mean, this is nothing new, nothing crazy. Um, honestly, now I feel like it's a good thing that they're that they're stepping away from this, so the third party companies will, will step in and talk. You know, like Ubisoft, Devolver, um, Capcom, a lot of a lot of other other third party companies. You know, so I think to me that's fine. You know, this, that's that's completely fine with me. I'm over it, even though the PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo really be carrying the show for E3 because they be showing the big hype games. But you already know they have their own stuff situated now, so really ain't nothing crazy, ain't nothing crazy. So I ain't, I ain't bothered by it. PlayStation has been getting a lot of um, uh, well not a lot, but like a few upcoming news about the um movie stuff. So now we got is Twisted Metal TV show tease for a 2023 debut. All right, hear me out, hear me out. So, I'm actually kind of interested in Twisted Metal uh, TV show. Reason why is because, now that I think about it, have y'all seen the little live action cutscenes they be doing for Twisted Metal on the PS3? Imagine them doing this for the TV show. It'll be fucking wicked fucking crazy. Because, go check out Twisted Metal on the PS3 and look at the live action scenes. I mean, yes, yes, some of the effects are cringe and bad, but if you really look at it, it actually really looks... Kind of fucking interesting, and the Twisted Metal lore is pretty fucking wild. Like, definitely check out the Twisted Metal lore and the endings. It's it's pretty fucking twisted and scary, especially especially Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth had like a crazy fucking story. I think a, a lot of characters had a, had a crazy fucking story. It was pretty fucking wild. <laughs> pretty fucking wild. But I'm definitely down for, to see some Twisted Metal TV show. Hopefully, drop a trailer trailer soon. I'm really down to watch it. So. Hopefully it's wicked crazy. All right, so ooh, yo, last week, last last week, man, holy fucking shit, a lot of stuff, a lot of nonsense talking about canceled games and the service games is a shit ton of end of service games that that has been talked for the last last week. So first up we got is Rumbleverse, free to play Rumbleverse, free to play Brawler Royal. Royale Rumbleverse will end the service on February 28th. Publisher Epic Games and developer Iron Galaxy announced. Man, this game didn't even last a fucking year. 
It did not even last all full. Did it even wait? Did it actually last a year? I don't think it, is, I, it actually lasts a fucking year. But god damn, this shit did not last as long as Paragon. Paragon lasts about like years. And now we're seeing this. Wow, epic. Wow. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, Rumbleverse. Rumbleverse was. It was a fun game. It was really fun. But I've. But I kind of seen like this game was not going to last long. I didn't see a lot of people playing it. I mean, I played a few times and that was it. But after like what a few months had passed when the game dropped, nobody wasn't playing it. Nobody was talking about it. No nothing. It was like no news. Like I like absolutely zero talk about Rumbleverse. That shit died really fast and made the game rest in peace February 28th. It was, it was it was really a fun game. It was, it was fun. It was fun. It was different for a battle royale game. It was different, just like um, uh, uh, Hunter's Legends. If you guys know what the fuck that game is, that game has no words, no words for Hunter for Hunter's Legends. I don't even know what the fuck they're doing with the game, but that game is just dead. That game is dead. No talk, no nothing. Dead. But there has been some stuff talking about oh they're gonna drop some content here here da 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 da. Where is it? No, nothing, nothing. <laughs> All right. So another game we got is uh, Apex Legends Mobile. Publisher Electronic Arts and developer Respawn Entertainment will end service for Apex Legends Mobile on May first. Why though? Apparently, from what I've been hearing, is that fucking Epic, not Epic, Apex Legends Mobile will be getting more fucking content, and kind of somewhat better content than Apex Legends on the console. So why are they canceling this one? Which is kind of fucking crazy to me, you know. But yeah, Apex Legends on the on the phone is getting canceled, and there was another another cancelization. Battlefield Mobile sees sees development studio shattered. Shuttered. EA confirms development of Battlefield Mobile for Android and iOS as sees and the game's development studio is shutting down. That I didn't even know there was a. <laughs> I did not know there was a Battlefield game coming. At all, at all, on the phone? What the fuck? Who wants to play Battlefield on the fucking phone? Actually, actually, I, I actually want to see how it was, how it's gonna run on the phone. But Battlefield on the phone? What the fuck? <laughs> That's actually kind of weird. But oh, okay, okay, EA. Yeah, but well, that's canceled. Uh, another game we got is Knockout Motherfucking City, the dodgeball, dodgeball game. This game was fucking unique. I actually, I actually enjoyed this game a lot. It was really fun, especially when we played with friends. Three on three dodgeball, high speed action. It was y'all dodgeball. I said dodgeball. Knockout City definitely a must play. If you guys don't have it, download it right now. It's free to play right the fuck now. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. It's really fun. So free to play team based dodgeball game. Knockout City will end service on June sixth. Developer Vlon Studios announced a private hosted server edition of the game will be available as a free download for PC in the in the coming months, which will allow the game to lot to live on forever through privately hosted servers. So I guess they're doing a uh, they're doing a um actually no actually yeah they're kind of doing what what um fight 13 is doing you know with their dedicated servers so i mean this is cool i mean the game's not dead but the this the end of service is going to be over at on june 6th so you'll still be able to play it i know it mentioned about pc i hope it will come to consoles as well if not that's that's fucking ass but um yeah june 6th will be the end of service of the game but you'll still be able to play it so don't forget about that don't forget about that okay guys okay okay all right so another big news is is we have <laughs> Metal Gear Rising. It's the 10th anniversary of Metal Gear Rising this month, and developer Platinum Games, oh my favorite company of all time, Platinum Games is teasing some kind of events. So, what the fuck is the event going to be about? If y'all motherfuckers don't announce Metal Gear Rising coming to PS5 and Xbox Series S, X, and Xbox in general, I'm going to throw myself out this motherfucking one story window because I've been waiting for Metal Gear Rising to come once again. Hell, and now it's Metal Gear Rising 2. Please, I need a sequel. We need a sequel. If y'all haven't played Metal Gear Rising, go play that shit. This is, oh, oh, I would say 
it's kind of one. Nah, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say it's a hidden gem. It's 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 not a hidden gem for um for platinum. But this God, this is a classic motherfucking game. Y'all need to play. It's a very good hack and slash game with some new shit, crazy shit, cutting up people in the million slices, which is uh, the most. Whoever made that idea is a fucking madman and deserve a fucking raise. Cause whoever made that idea, you're a fucking god. But yeah, Melgar Rising will be having a, uh, a a little, I guess, event. But honestly, all we need to hear is Melgar Rising is coming to motherfucking PlayStation and Xbox. That's all we need to hear. And the sequel. Um, uh, if they announce about the movie, I mean, that's cool too. I'm, uh, I mean, okay, cool movie. It's, I, I, I hope it's good. <laughs> I hope it's good. But yeah, Melgar Rising is gonna be coming with the event. Can't wait to see that. 20 was it 21st 21st stay tuned y'all stay tuned and keep up with that keep up with that red for red for god i don't know why why do they do this but anyway red for will require an online connection on single player for single player i don't know what what and why they need to do this why do you need to add online connection for a single player mode oh don't worry sony did it too with gran turismo 7 okay i i'm gonna let that slide but it is the most stupidest idea to ever do don't don't come up with that oh you don't have internet come on man anyone has internet come on man i mean we use it all the time but like but 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 still but still but still, if people want to play the game single player and they don't have no fucking Wi-Fi, what the fuck, what the fuck can they do? <laughs> they have to play a different game. <laughs> I mean, Redfall require online. That's retarded. Grand Turismo 7 also need online to play a single player thing, which is also retarded. You know, this, this, things like this is just retarded. Why do you need to, why do you need requirement for the, for, for internet to play a single player thing? It's retarded. Stop doing that. Don't do that no more. Please. It makes it makes zero fucking sense to do that. But anyway, therefore, this game most is you need you need online to play to play single player. Honestly, it's real talk for me. I don't care about Redfall. The game looks like fucking ass. It looks like shit. I mean, look at this game. It it, it needs more enemies. It, it needs more enemies, and the game needs to be more polished. Cause right now the game looks like a, a it looks like a fucking indie game. It it, it really do. It really does need improvement. So they have a lot of time to improve the game. If the game needs to be, need to be delayed, go ahead and delay it. Cause right now I don't give a fuck. But if it will release on Game Pass, I will give it a shot, see what it is and how it is. But yeah, that's really it. So if you haven't heard, um, the PlayStation, the PS Plus Collection. Okay, so to the surprise of PlayStation gamers, Sony confirms that it is shutting down the PS Plus Collection for PlayStation Five on may 9th people have been throwing a big fucking tantrum about uh they're removing the ps plus collection off the uh, list but you guys should not be popping off or getting mad because thing is you will still be able to keep the ps plus collection of the games all right all you need is just get just have your ps plus uh, uh up to date and you'll still have the ps plus collection games that you that you've acquired so do not freak out don't bug out um if you, and it ends on may 9th so you have a you have a shit ton of time and plus if your friend does not have a ps5 just just hit your friends on the ps4 be like yo if you got if you want the ps plus collection of games just let me know i'll hit you up uh give me your account i'm down with games and you know add to your library and you'll be set by being bada boom you're good still you guys should not be bugging out it's been out for like what a year or two uh, about, about like two years so so go ahead and cop the games do not be late do not be late it ends on may 9th right may 9th may 9th <laughs> may 9th so go ahead hit somebody up who don't got a, a ps5 yet and they want to get the ps plus collection go ahead hit them up be like yo give me your account i'm gonna download i'm gonna put the games in your library so you won't so you won't um you know you don't have to buy them <laughs> so uh if you guys don't know the list of the of the ps plus games i got y'all right now so the games is on the PS Plus collection. So first we got Batman Arkham Knight, pretty fucking cool. Uh, Battlefield One, eh, 
it's okay. It's okay. I think the game is dead though, but it's okay. Bloodborne, pretty fucking good. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles Edition. Mm, it's alright. It's alright. Crash, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Mm, that game is pretty fucking hard. If you're, if you're into like fucking hard ass platforming games, I guess you could go ahead and try that out if you want to. I mean, the game's pretty good from the fans. So, I mean, like I said, never played it. Uh, Days Gone. It's. Days Gone is really mixed. It's really mixed, but I would say overall the experience is, is pretty cool with all the fucking um zombies. Got put gas in your fucking motorcycle every time. Uh, there's fucking bears. Uh, but yeah, give it give it a shot. Give it a shot. Detroit Become Human, pretty fucking good, man. That game was really really fucking good. Fallout Four, eh? I wasn't into Fallout, but uh, it it got mods. <laughs> nah, I mean. Yeah, that's that's about it. It got mods. <laughs> Final Fantasy 15. It is okay, but it's still pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, they should slap in the um. I think if if they do have the royal the royal king edition, I mean, this it, it's a must cop. It's a must cop. I mean, more more content to the game. Not bad. Not bad. God of War. Yes, cop. No words. No questioning. Cop. Infamous Second Son, pretty fucking cool. Monster in the World, that is a must fucking cop. Best Capcom game I played in a hot ass minute. Mortal Kombat X, uh, I think people still play it a, a lot actually. So yeah, Mortal Kombat X, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Persona 5, no longer on the list. Sorry y'all, is no longer on the fucking list. Ratchet and Clank, um, it's high, it's high, it's high. Not better than Rift, Rift Apart, but it's high. Busy with Seven Biohazard. Definitely a must play if you're going to play Village. Definitely a must play. It's really good. It's really good. Last Guardian. Didn't beat it, but overall it was okay. It was okay. The Last of Us Remastered. Must fucking cop. Come on now. Come on now. Uncharted 4 at these end. Must cop. Come on now. Come on now. This is Naughty Dog we're talking about. Naughty Dog. Until Dawn. Pretty fucking good. This is pretty good. It's, pretty, it's scary, but it's still pretty fucking good. So that is the PS Plus collection of games. It is worth, definitely worth trying out. If you guys have not tried it or, or even downloaded, definitely download those games. It's, it is a pretty fun, pretty fun experience. Pretty fun experience. Definitely don't miss out on those games. So, EA has reportedly canceled Titanfall Legends, a secret single player. Project set in the world of Titanfall and Apex Legends. God damn it! Now, I wish the game was multiplayer as well, but come on, man. Titanfall and the Apex Legends uh, characters coming for a single player game? That would have been fucking awesome. That would have been fucking awesome. But no, EA had to cancel it. Why? I don't know. I guess they want to give Star Wars Jedi, Jedi uh, Fallen Order 2 more clout. I. I guess I don't know. That's fucking garbage, man. I, I was really, I was really hoping for that, and maybe hopefully it was going going to drop multiplayer as well. But yeah, Titanfall multiplayer. Yeah, if y'all have not touched Titanfall's multiplayer, go peep that game. It is mad fun, so much fun. That's where all the movement came from. That's where all the Apex movement came from, came from. Titanfall, the old fucking G. Respect the OG. Definitely try that game out. The game always and plus Titanfall 2 it always goes on sale. Always. Is there a player base? Yes, there is a player base, but it's very it's a very low count. I think the I think it's about like a thousand players, maybe tops. Maybe um, maybe uh, like around there, a thousand, six hundred, maybe around there, but hey, people still play it. People still play it, so definitely give the game a shot. Definitely get the game a shot, and the and the single player is cool too. This is really cool. All right, so next game is we got ooh another EA game, Wild Hearts. Yes, sir, Wild Hearts. I am this. I am waiting for this motherfucker game to release already. I'm um, honestly, huh. Monster Hunter Rise. I played it for about I think over 24 hours, and there was just one day I just I just stopped playing the game completely. I don't know what it was. I guess it just didn't feel like Monster Hunter World. But I will try and return and play some more months on the rise. You know, I kind of, I kind of just just hit um uh high rank, 
but I'm, I'm I'm not too far into getting the master rank, or if there is a master rank in the game, I'm not really uh, far into the game yet. But I will go back and try it. But overall, Wild Hearts uh, Wild Hearts confirms free post launch content, no microtransactions, and can be played offline. Oh, crazy, crazy. Okay, so my, so no microtransactions can be played online with free post launch content. All right, that is a good thing to fucking hear EA that's a good fucking thing holy shit now I'm even more hyped for the game now I'm even more hyped but I hope they drop a demo because I'm will I'm very very willing to try out the demo if, if there's no demo well shit I guess I'll just buy the game full fucking price <laughs> but damn please drop a demo please we need more demos to release man I'm tired of going I'm tired of you have to go here and there to try to try a demo. Like you literally have to go out of state just to play a fucking demo. It's ridiculous. Give us demos, please. Please. Nah, I'm not many of us could afford to go here and there, alright? But I really do hope we, we get a uh, uh, demo. Alright, so two two games that will be in the service. Uh, I guess I should say one, but I'm including two because this one is about Back for Blood. So Turtle Rock is done, officially done with back for blood after three expansions the turbox studios is moving on from back for blood and is focusing on what comes next oh <sighs> back for blood i've played it it's it's okay um i kind of wish they didn't add all this like you know card system bullshit ridiculousness uh overall it's all right it's okay you know once you play it once or a few times, would you go back? Probably not. You know, it, it don't it don't give up like the la the Left 4 Dead feel. You know, but overall the game is okay. Uh, but that's enough. But that's enough for Back for Blood. Let's go to, whew, Cross Fire X. Man, this game was getting shit talked out the ass from every fucking body man the multiplayer was bad single player shit and i was very surprised it was made by remedy and another thing i was surprised about it, it, it didn't come to playstation so uh it's crazy that the game is going to be ending ending the service wait why i say it's gonna be crazy shit the game was dead on arrival <laughs> the game is dead on arrival anyway so the game is ending on May 18th and the service, so y'all need to worry about that piece of shit game anymore. I actually do need to try it out, because a lot of people saying the most of it was rarely shit. Like, the game was, the game felt delayed, the shooting felt delayed, the bullets weren't, felt like, bullets didn't feel like it was, you know, hit detection or reaction or anything. But damn, I don't know how Remedy fucked that up, because, you know, <laughs> remember Max Payne 3 multiplayer? That shit was fun. That shit was fun, Remedy. I don't know how they fuck up Crossfire X, but I guess he didn't give a fuck about it. But, <laughs> but yeah. So, Crossfire X, done, done, do, done, do. But uh, let's move on though. So, EA Motive, Iron Man game is in development. It has begun. So, development of EA's Iron Man game officially begins. <laughs> so, but uh, it's being made by EA Motive. EA Motive, EA Motive is not that bad. I think, I think they're, I think they're also making um, Wild Wild Hearts as well. So EA Motive, they made uh uh uh, uh Dead Space remake, Star Wars Squadrons, Star Wars Battlefront two. I mean, not a bad list. Not a bad list. I think I think Scorpion was actually okay. I damn I actually thought they was making Wild Hearts as well. I guess not, but EA Motive. Um, I see what you got, you know. And and uh it's been a minute since we got a, a Iron Man game. I know Iron Man Two and Iron Man One on the PS3 and Xbox weren't fun, but I do remember playing Iron Man Two on the PS3, and I actually had fun with it. You know, I I had fun with it. You know, playing as War Machine and uh, Iron Man. I think I had more fun playing with um, War Machine, but yeah, the, but the gameplay was fun. I thought it was really fun. It's very surprising to see EA making a uh, Iron Man game. You know, you know how EA is. You know, remember when EA said, "Oh, see your play games are dead." And that pretty much proved them wrong about Star Wars uh, Jedi Fallen Order. And now, guess what? They get a sequel, and the first one was a fucking big hit. But then they canceled. You know, Time Fall. Uh, 
what's it called? Timefall Legends. Uh, no, that that sucked that they canceled that. I think that game would have been good too. But hey, hopefully, I mean there 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 is a chance they they could just bring it back at any time when they want to. But you are you under the hands of EA. But Iron Man, let's see what you got. Let's see let's let's see what you got with Iron Man. All right, so another game. Ah, uh, seventy dollars, seventy dollars. Nintendo confirms Zelda Tears of the Kingdom will cost seventy muddy fucking dollars. <sighs> I know the I know the Nintendo fans are punching the air, rolling on the floor, crying right now for the game to be seventy dollars. Cause right now this seventy dollar bullshit madness inflation is ridiculous. Even though we're even though the fact we're paying seventy dollars for AAA games, we've also been playing sixty dollars for AAA games to be unfinished. Buggy, goofy, fucked up mess. But the fact that we're paying seventy dollars now for it to even be a more buggy, goofy, fucked up mess is even worse. But hey, don't get me wrong. Legend of Zelda is it is a phenomenal series. I never played it. I've never played it in my life. But they, but they still are like the top notch games to be worth to be worthy for a full price game. Like literally none. Of, like I don't think any of the games have been buggy as fuck at all. Um, unless we're gonna talk about the Zelda game on the Phyllis CDI and some other games way back then. But <laughs> other than that, other, other than that, I mean their game has been flawless. But yeah, save me seventy dollars. Um, please don't. <laughs> I know some of y'all are gonna get really mad about it, but hey, this is how life is now. This fucking inflation is ridiculous. Other than that, seventy dollars Zelda game. Are you guys gonna cop? Go ahead and get it. I mean, this is Legend of Zelda. I mean, the game series never disappoint. They, they really don't. Oh, okay. So we got E is Capcom. So disappointingly, Capcom has confirmed that they won't be sharing any updates on Street Fighter 6 at the Capcom Cup Finals. The focus will be on Street Fighter 6 or Street Fighter 5. My bad, my bad, my bad. But honestly, we got a lot of stuff about Street Fighter 6. I'm not really, I'm not really too mad about um, them not dropping no news about Street Fighter 6 because Street Fighter 6 my goodness they're like yo, they'll have a lot of shit street fighter 6 when they drop there's, there's there's so much shit i mean come on you can free roam around with your character create your own character uh learn some moves it's the same like it's gonna be like the same like it's gonna be like a uh a side scroller beat em up uh mini game that that looks fire you know meeting people uh meeting uh creative characters from like you know in the uh arcade uh arcade spot that's fire I mean, they, it looks like they put a lot of fucking effort into Street Fighter 6, and and with that, I mean, they also sold more characters like Blanca, um, DJ, you know, and, and the new upcoming characters. I mean, they showed a lot. They, they they showed a lot. So, I'm not really too mad about them not announcing more Street Fighter 6 news, because, like I said, they showed a lot. So, I'm not really mad. But am I high for it? Am I going to cop it? Um, Probably not, because um, I'm not a... I'm not a fan of Street Fighter, uh, Street Fighter like games, cause I'm ass at them. But if it comes to, like Smash Bros and Brawlhalla, okay, you caught my attention. But I, I definitely have tried. But hey, if if one of my friends get it, then I'm probably gonna download, it, give it a shot, see how it goes. Cause I mean, they did, they did add a, uh, they did add a uh, easy, simple control ch control scheme for the players that that are, that are really bad. I want to make it easier for them to play Street Fighter. I mean, which is a really good addition. I might give it a shot, but I might not play with those control schemes because I'm not, I'm not with, I'm not with the easy mode control schemes. All right. Back in my day, I used to play Marvel's Capcom 3. I really try to put an effort on that game, but I'm, I'm <laughs> I was just too ass at it. I was just too garbage. I was like, yeah, maybe this is not for me. <laughs> but uh, other than that, that is really it for the news. I hope I caught y'all up to date with the news, upcoming news for last week and last last week. Like I said, this news has been haven't been too, you know, crazy hype. You know, just a lot of cancelizations and end of service games, and, and yeah, that's really it. So hope you guys have a great motherfucking week. Uh, please stay safe, stay blessed, and stay positive. Don't let that negative shit get to you. Don't let it get to you. Stay positive. But yeah, all y'all have a beautiful day and beautiful week, alright? Black Pope X Nepo Edits is out. Deuces.